Hello lovely viewers, you are most welcome to our channel Poetry Online. In this video, we shall be discussing the What's 2022 Literature in English past questions and answers. Kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updates on all our new videos. Once again, let us assure you of a very interesting discussion. Get ready for this lesson. Section A. Answer all the questions in this section. Part 1. General Knowledge of Literature Question 1. An indirect reference to characters or events in another work is A. Apostrophe B. Foreshadow C. Allusion D. Flashback The correct answer to this question is C. Allusion Question 2. In a play, the dash also comments on the action. A. Antagonist B. Chorus C. Protagonist D. Villain The correct answer to this question is B. Chorus Question 3. Romeo and Juliet and Romeo and Juliet are A. Epitaph B. Epigrammatic C. Epitaph D. Eponymous The correct answer to this question is D. Eponymous Question 4. Lie to my path is thy word, Lord. Illustrates A. Allegory B. Apostrophe C. Contrast D. Parallelism the correct answer to this question is B. Apostrophe. Question 5. An actor's thought that is spoken aloud alone on stage is A. Anaphora B. Aside C. Dialogue D. Soliloquy The correct answer to this question is D. Soliloquy. Question 6. An elegy is the poem of A. Celebration and happiness B. Excitement and ecstasy C. Reflection and lamentation D. Frustration and anger The correct answer to this question is C. Reflection and lamentation Question 7. Love is found amongst a fool. The fool is found amongst love. Illustrates A. Antithesis B. Chiasmus C. Conceit D. Oxymoron The correct answer to this question is A. Antithesis Question 8. A comic imitation of a literary work is A. A. Fast B. Lampoon C. Parable D. Parody The correct answer to this question is D. Parody Question 9. Which of the following is a narrative poem? A. Ballad B. Lyric C. Ode D. Sonnet the correct answer to this question is A. Ballad. Read the extract below and answer question 10. Whenever we saw Mrs. Severe, we looked in vain for some sign of the beauty that must have once been hers. The extract again. Whenever we saw Mrs. Severe, we looked in vain for some sign of the beauty that must have once been hers. Question 10. The point of view used in this extract is A. First person B. Second person C. Third person D. Omniscient The correct answer to this question is A. First person Question 11. A major element of a short story is A. Costume B. Plot C. Props D. Stanza 
The correct answer to this question is B. Plot. Question 12. In a story, foreshadowing evokes the atmosphere of A. Epiphany B. Fear C. Suspense D. Tranquility The correct answer to this question is C. Suspense Read the lines below and answer questions 13 to 14. Tell it not and Gav. Tell it not in the street of Ashkelon. Least the daughters of the Philistines rejoice. Least the daughters of the uncircumcised triumph. The abstract again. Tell it not in Gav. Tell it not in the street of Ashkelon. Least the daughters of the Philistines rejoice. Least the daughters of the uncircumcised triumph. Question 13. The lines illustrate A. Battles B. Contrast C. Euphemism D. Parallelism The correct answer to this question is D. Parallelism Question 14. The mood of the speaker is one of A. Anger B. Delight C. Sorrow D. Regret The correct answer to this question is C. Sorrow Question 15 Poetic lines refers to the A. Poet's ability to obey rules of the language B. Liberties the poet takes with language C. Poets reward for composing acceptable poem. D. License granted to the poet to write poetry. The correct answer to this question is B. Liberties the poet takes with language. Question 16. The excessive pride of a tragic hero, which leads to his downfall, is A. Anagnorisis. B. Catharsis. C. Hubris D. Peripetia The correct answer to this question is C. Hubris Question 17 An introductory speech by one of the actors as part of a play is A. An epilogue B. An exposition C. A preamble D. A prologue. The correct answer to this question is D. Prologue. Question 18. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. Illustrates A. Euphemism. B. Irony. C. Personification. D. Simile. The correct answer to this question is D. Simile. Question 19. In a novel, flash characters A. Are usually central characters. B. Do not develop. C. Expose the protagonist. D. Often identify with the hero. The correct answer to this question is B. Do not develop. Question 20. A musical play is called A. A farce B. An opera C. A playlet D. An orchestra The correct answer to this question is B. An opera Part I.I. Unseen prose and poetry Read a passage below and answer questions 21 to 25. Passage A group of six aged feet and a boy tried the serpentine path to the distant market at Ajota village to sell their wares, which ranged from a balance of second-hand clothing, eating cooking pots, to an unwilling goat with a rope tied to his neck 
and dragged along the sand baked road that led to the market. The men among them were all silent. Only the two women in worn out wrappers whispered to each other about the rising course of things in their village. One of the women had earlier cautionly scolded a young boy for his playfulness. The boy was having a hard time staring the he goat securely tied around his waist, his face drenched in sweat. The young boy was the only surviving child of the woman who scolded him. He was just recovering from an illness that almost took his life, the way it had taken the lives of three others before him. It took the intervention of a medicine man from the neighboring village to keep him alive. He had told the mother that the boy was destined to serve the gods. On this traveler's faces, where lines of their lives travailed, they all headed to the market, the only source of their livelihood. The passage again. A group of six aged feet, and a boy tried the serpentine path to the distant market at Ajuta village to sell their wares, which ranged from a balance of second-hand clothing, eaten cooking pots, to an unwilling goat with a rope tied to his neck and dragged along the sand baked road that led to the market. The men among them were all silent. Only the two women in worn out wrappers whispered to each other about the rising course of things in their village. One of the women had earlier cautionly scolded a young boy for his playfulness. The boy was having a hard time staring the he goat securely tied around his waist, his face drenched in sweat. The young boy was the only surviving child of the woman who scolded him. He was just recovering from an illness that almost took his life, the way it had taken the lives of three others before him. It took the intervention of a medicine man from the neighboring village to keep him alive. He had told the mother that the boy was destined to serve the gods. On this traveler's faces, where lines of their lives travailed, they all headed to the market the only source of their livelihood. Question 21. The dominant feeling conveyed by the passage is that of A. Contentment B. Despair C. Illness D. Poverty The correct answer to this question is D. Poverty. Question 22. The market in the passage symbolizes a. Desperation B. Hope C. History D. Suffering The correct answer to this question is B. Hope Question 23 Six H feet illustrates A. Hyperbole B. Metonymy C. Synecdoche D. Sigma. The correct answer to this question is C. Synecdoche. Question 24. The dominant image appeals to the sense of A. Smell. B. Taste. C. Sight. D. Touch. The correct answer to this question is C. Sight. Question 25. The setting portrays a sense of A. Cosmopolis B. Local color C. Metropolis D. Urban color The correct answer to this question is B. Local color Read a point below and answer questions 26 to 30. Bam! Bam! The crying sounds of boots on gravel faces the void of feelings that runs the machine guns as devastating effects. Screams and shouts from the defenseless, laughter and scorn from the oppressors. The extract again. Bam! Bam! The crying sounds of boots on gravel faces the void of feelings that runs the machine guns. As devastating effects, screams and shouts from the defenseless, laughter and scorn from the oppressors. Question 26. Bam, bam. 
illustrates A. Cacophony B. Euphony C. Onomatopoeia D. Rhyme The correct answer to this question is C. Onomatopoeia Question 27 The mood of the poem is one of A. Helplessness B. Indifference C. Regret D. Sadness the correct answer to this question is A. Helplessness. Question 28. The rant of the machine gun illustrates A. Assonance B. Personification C. Littles D. Metaphor The correct answer to this question is B. Personification. Question 29. The poem is about A. Resistance B. War C. Valor D. Survival The correct answer to this question is B. War Question 30 The dominant words in the poem are A. Harsh B. Melancholic C. Satiric D. Solemn. The correct answer to this question is A. Hash. Section B. Answer all the questions in this section. William Shakespeare. A Midsummer Night's Dream. Read the abstract below and answer questions 31 to 35. Speaker X. But oh, methinks how slow this old moon wanes. She lingers my desires, like to a step dame or a dwaga, long watering out a young man's revenue. Speaker Y. Four days will quickly step themselves in night. Four nights will quickly dream away the time. And then the moon, like to a silver bow, new bent in heaven, shall behold the night of our solemnities. Act 1, scene 1, lines 3 to 11. The extract again. Speaker X. But oh, methinks how slow this old moon wanes. She lingers my desires, like to a step dame or a dwaga, long watering out a young man's revenue. Speaker Y. Four days will quickly step themselves in night. Four nights will quickly dream away the time. And then the moon, like to a silver bow, New bent in heaven shall behold the night of our solemnities. Act 1, scene 1, lines 3 to 11. Question 31. Speaker X is A. Egus B. Lysander C. Oberon D. Teases The correct answer to this question is D. Teases Question 32. Speaker Y is A. Helena B. Hermia C. Hippolyta D. Titania The correct answer to this question is C. Hippolyta Question 33. Our solemnities refers to A. Banquets B. Funerals C. Revery D. Wedding The correct answer to this question is D. Wedding Question 34 Speaker X is A. Angry with Punk B. In love with Hermia C. The Duke of Athens D. The King of Fairies the correct answer to this question is C. The Duke of Athens. Question 35. Speaker Y is A. Betrothed with users. B. Tall and fair. C. The daughter of Egus. D. The queen of the fairies. The correct answer to this question is A. 
betrothed its users? Read the extract below and answer questions 36 to 40. The world does have such a heart as you. Run when you will. The story shall be changed. Apollo flies, and dolphin holds the chase. The dove pursues the driffin. The mild hind makes speed to kite the tiger. Bootless speed. When cowards pursues, the valor flies. Act 2 and 1, lines 229 to 234. The extract again. The world does have such a heart as you. Run when you will, the story shall be changed. Apollo flies, and dolphin holds the chase. The dove pursues the driffin. The mild hind makes speed to kite the tiger. Bootless speed, when cowards pursues, the valor flies. Act 2 and 1, lines 229 to 234. Question 36. The wildest refers to A. Good people B. Wild beast C. The least cruel man D. The most deceptive spirit The correct answer to this question is B. Wild beast Question 37. The addressee has A. Confronted a rival B. Pleaded for forgiveness C. Rejected the speaker's love D. Ran into the wood The correct answer to this question is C. Rejected the speaker's love Question 38 The speaker is A. Helena B. Demetrius C. Lysander D. Titania The correct answer to this question is A. Helena Question 39 Another character present at the scene is A. Igus B. Lysander C. Oberon D. Teuses the correct answer to this question is C. Oberon. Question 40. The speech is intended to dash the addressee. A. Confuse. B. Pacify. C. Provoke. D. Reclaim. The correct answer to this question is D. Reclaim. Read the extract below and answer questions 41 to 45. Speaker X, there is no following here in this fierce vein. Here therefore for a while I will remain, for sorrow's heaviness do heavier grow. For death that bankrupt sleep do sorrow owe, which now in some slight measure it will pay. If for his tender here, I make some stay. Act 3, scene 2. Lines 82 to 87. The extract again. Speaker X. There is no following here in this fierce vein. Here, therefore, for a while I will remain. For sorrow's heaviness do heavier grow. For death's that bankrupt sleep do sorrow owe. Which now, in some slight measure, it will pay. If for his tender here, I make some stay. Act 3. Scene 2. Lines 82 to 87. Question 41. Her in line 1 refers to A. Helena, B. Hermia, C. Hippolyta, D. Titania. The correct answer to this question is B. Hermia. Question 32. The speech exemplifies A. Determination. B. Resignation C. Unrequited love D. Vain pursuit The correct answer to this question is C. Unrequited love Question 43 The underlined expression means he A. 
has fallen asleep. B has been sleepless. C is in debt. D is in love. The correct answer to this question is B has been sleepless. Question 44. The other characters are the same. A. Becomes sorrowful. B. Departs immediately. C. Realize their mistake. D. Sympathize with him. The correct answer to this question is B. Departs immediately. Question 45. Demetrius has been... A. Betrayed B. Deceived C. Under a spell D. Under a threat The correct answer to this question is C. Under a spell Read the extract below and answer questions 46 to 50. Where I have come Great clerks have proposed to greet me with premediated welcomes, where I have seen them shiver and look pale, make periods in the midst of sentences, throttle their practice accents in their fears, and in conclusion, dumbly have broken off, not paying me a welcome. Act 5, Scene 1, lines 93 to 99. The extract again. Where I have come, Great clerks have proposed to greet me with premediated welcomes, where I have seen them shiver and look pale, make periods in the midst of sentences, throttle their practice accents in their fears, and in conclusion, dumbly have broken off, not paying me a welcome. Act 5, Scene 1, lines 93 to 99. Question 46. The speaker is A. Helena. B. Hermia C. Tuses D. Philostrate The correct answer to this question is C. Tuses Question 47 The speaker is addressing A. Hippolyta B. Lysander C. Philostrate D. Queens the correct answer to this question is A. Hippolyta. Question 48. The speech is a reaction to A. Hippolyta's reaction of the burden the poor bears. B. Philostrate's rejection of the play within the play. C. The address of the chorus. D. Arrival of the players. The correct answer to this question is A. Hippolyta's rejection of the burden the poor bears. Question 49. The speaker's experience is that A. The poor are inhabited. B. Even the poor can be tongue-tied. C. The poor are eloquent. D. Even the eloquent can falter in their speech. The correct answer to this question is D. Even the eloquent can falter in their speech. Question 50. At the end of the speech, A. Hippolyta storms out of the place. B. Philostrate announces the prologue. C. The ladies settle down. D. The curtain is drawn. The correct answer to this question is B. Philostrate announces the prologue. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video.